All right, what's going on you guys? Today we are gonna work a hand speed workout. I've got 10 combinations for you. They're all about five and six techniques long, five and six techniques long. So um, a little more, slightly more complicated, but not too much. Some of them have a little bit of head movement and some shifts, but most of them are left, right, left, right, because we wanna focus on just moving the hands. We don't wanna to have to think too much. But of course there's tactics built in. So we're gonna start off with, uh, in the first minute, three techniques, and then I'll add a technique and then add a technique. Some of them I might have to start off with four, or start off with three and then add two. So I'll keep you in the know because we're gonna go minute, 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 and then we get a whole minute break between the rounds, so I'll have time to explain the next combination to you. When we're working speed, you want more time between combinations. You may even feel guilty about how much time you're taking because you want ATP regeneration. You want those ATPs to, to build back up so that you can fire. So I would say give yourself like a five count, like bop, 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 bop. One and two and three and four and five. Bop, 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 bop. Okay? It might almost feel guilty, but for the time you're resting, you will be going that much harder and faster in the combo, and it's gonna catch up to you anyway. Speed kills, not only your opponent, but training speed kills as well. Just because we're training speed, it doesn't mean the first round or the first combo, you go out there giving it your all. You still wanna start off with some 80% and then pick up the speed as you go. You gotta give your nervous system a little bit of time to wake up. Even if you did a warm up, you still need a little bit of time to wake up your nervous system, wake up your muscles. So we're going for speed, longer rest, between combos, but still give the first two rounds, let your muscles have time to warm up so that in the last eight, that you can be really sharp. All right, let's get into it. All right, you guys, we're about to get started. Now, the first punch you can throw is at that like button. First punch at the like button, that's the number one combo. Do the whole workout. First combo is here. Jab, jab, right hand, jab, uppercut. All we're gonna start with is jab, jab, right hand. Okay, that's how we're gonna start. All I ask for you is hit the like button, do the whole workout. Ready, here we go. Keep those hands up, relax yourself. Let the hands fly, but you don't have to go too hard right off the bat. Give yourself a little bit of time to get into it. All right, relax your legs, relax your feet. All right, and again, you finish strong with that last punch. So when the, comp, when the combo gets, expands, the last punch will be a different punch. So you'll feel emphasis in different ways. And then relax. Give yourself more time. Give yourself more time to recover between the combos. Okay, now we're gonna add the jab. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, one, one, two, one. And hands up. And move and relax, elbows in. And I relax here. I want to give myself time to recover. I'm not in a rush. Breathing. It's not power, although you're going to have some power. Okay, I just want nice, clean touches, okay? Still working on your technique. Still working on your technique, hands up. Okay, add the uppercut. Jab, jab, right, jab. Uppercut to the body. We're getting used to throwing different punches off of different ones. See, I had a stall there. We gotta get the flow. Sometimes the bag isn't always exactly where you want it to be. Hands up and then relax. 
If you feel tension, relax it out and then go. We're quality. Quality here. Double jab, right jab, uppercut to the body. Whoa, that's the wrong one. Double jab, right jab, up. Okay, we did it. First round in. Waking up the body, waking it up. All right, that's all. That's all we're doing here. Just get ourselves in the groove, you know? All right, second combination. Right hand to the body, lead hook to the head, right hook to the body. Then we're gonna go here, shovel hook overhand. So it's a little bit all over the place. Body, hook, hook body, shovel, overhand. All we need to start is here, 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 all right? Starting from long range, ba, ba, ba. All right? Body, head, ba. And then hands up. Nice and relaxed and easy, chin down. Okay, when the bell goes, here we go. That's it, and get and relax and recover, no rush. There's no rush. And I recover, and I want speed. I want speed, and I recover. And I think about what I just did. Does it need to be adjusted? And hands up. That's it. We're getting it quick. And cover. You just want to get those quick points. Not too much power. Okay, then we add the shovel hook. Boom. Okay, so add that. Pop, 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 pop. All right. And bring the hand back to the chin as you drive that. Recover, get some good time. So you shouldn't really be too out of breath. But you feel it in your hands and your shoulders working. See here, it's different. You push that top speed. Teach your body how to sprint. And then I relax. And then I go. Okay, now we have the overhand right short at the end. Body, head, hook, shovel, over. All right. All right, it should just come. It's going to be short. At the end, you won't have much room. Let the hands go. Breathe and relax. Breathe and relax. Uh, all right, second combo down. You should feel it in a different kind of way. Maybe not so much in your lungs, but Sort of just like a, a tension all over your body from the exertion. But still, you wanna stay relaxed. Okay, work the speed, recover between each combo, feel fresh. All right, next one. Jab, hook to the body. Right hook, lead hook up top. Overhand right, lead hook again. 
Bam, 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 boom. There might be a little bit of delay if you lean on that right hand and come back in. If you go here, boom. So don't worry about that. All right, you're still pushing speed. So we start off here, jab, right, hook, okay? And then it's gonna go overhand and hook, similar to the one before. All right, ready, here we go. Jab, right, hook. Okay, get that chin back, the hand back to the chin. And recover, and recover. Now make the jab count still. You don't want just a, the jab still has to count. And you're thinking about the overhand that's coming next. Put it together, quick, nice and quick. That's it. That's it. Okay, add the overhand. Bam, 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 boom. That's it. That's it. Now, the problem is, don't get too close to the bag like this. You gotta still let the arms do the work. Don't crowd your punches. Recover and breathe. We're pushing speed. Hands up. Whew. Feeling that. Okay, now I have the hook at the very end. There might be a little delay there. Just do your best. Let the hands do the work. Not so much power. Recover. Ah, I gotta put it together. Put it together quick. That's it. Relax. And work it again. Let the hands work. All right. That was a tough one for some reason. That was hard. That was hard. And we got more like that. More like that. Relax. Let your arms relax. Pushing speed feels different. It's a little bit. Mental, physical, but after a few sessions like this, your speed will go up, and then your conditioning for the regular stuff will be much stronger. You'll be able to handle the old speed easier. All right, relax your hands. Okay, next combo. Slip it overhand right, lead hook, uppercut. Then from that uppercut, you're gonna double up on that right side. Slip, here. Up, right, shut up, left uppercut to the body. For now, all we do is this slip with the overhand, hook, uppercut. Okay, then we're gonna add that and that at the end. Right there. That's it, that's it. Keep working it. Keep working it. Oh, I see I'm getting a little too rushed. That's gonna make it harder to recover. 
There we go, that's what I need. Clean and short with a long rest. Make sure not to lean, okay? Let the hands fly. Let the hands fly. Okay, now we're gonna have the right hand over here, up, boom, same side. There's a little delay, it's okay. Recover. Recover and push yourself. Let the hands work. Stay on balance. Okay, now, left uppercut to the body at the end. So here, boom, 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 boom. There's a little pause. Shoulders are feeling it. Longer break. Recover. Recover. Ah. There it is. Sometimes the brain has other ideas. Let it go. That's it. Push it. Ah, uh, fantastic. Okay, we're four combos in. We got six to go. I can feel the speed, it adds up. It's like, you could walk another 10 miles, but to go at this top speed, it's taxing on the body. So find your groove, take longer breaks, push it to the extent you can. Okay, next combo, we're on the inside. Uppercut, uppercut. Hook, hook, jab, jab. You gotta create room. Bam, 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 bam. You move out on those jabs. So we'll start here. Up, up, hook. Okay, then we'll add the second hook. And then the last minute we'll add the jab, jab. So up, up, hook. I'm gonna do this one in Southpaw. Ready, here it is. Let the hands go. I'm tempted to go now, but I should wait. Breathing. That's it. That's it, breathing. That's it. Oh, feel that. It's catching up in a different kind of way. Outside. So for you guys here, pa 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 pa. Cover and move. Clean. Clean shots. Clean shots. And move. 
Two uppercuts, two hooks. Let the hands go. Take a longer break if you need it. All right, then, jab, jab, at the very end. There can be a little delay. As you move out. Whew, that's hard, it's catching up. Use the legs to drive it. Use the feet. Keep working. Oh, that's hard work. There we go. Finally, some snap. Find your distance, breathe. Ah. All right. Halfway. Okay, here we're gonna mix in some different tactics. These I'm gonna have to show you. It's a shift. If you're, you've seen it before, but I'm gonna do a full shot anyway so you can see it. Here's a combo. Slip, shovel hook to the body, lead hook up top. So it's twice on the same side. Right hand, shift, right hand. Most of you have seen it before, but I'm gonna do it for full view. Slip, seven, three, two, shift, two, okay? Let's start out with the slip, seven, three, okay? Then we'll add the two, and then we'll add the shift two at the very end. All right, here we go. Slip, seven, three. It's hard to double up, but you gotta work on it. Got to get around that shot. It's that right side, the left side working. And then you're getting close. You got to pull that hook short. Keep working. Small head movement, just enough. Just enough. Allow yourself time to recover. Okay, then you add the right hand at the end. The back's gonna move. Find your groove, find your distance. Now we shift. Throw another right hand. Work it. Shift hook. There's gonna be a little time delay. You find the bag. Little time delay as you shift. That's it. 
Slap right hand, shift, two. Oh, that one's working. This one's hard. All right. It's getting too hot. Time to take off the two. Okay. If you need to lag yourself more time between combos, then do it. I'm starting to feel that, pr that pressure now. Okay, next combo. One, two, pull. One, two, pull. Two, three, down. Three. So let's go like this. One, two, pull. Two. Okay? You decide. As long as that pull, four to six inches, it's okay. One, two, pull, two. Then it's gonna go three, duck, three. Just work on speed. Technique, yes, but don't worry about it too much right now. You catch it all up later. One, two, pull, two. You might have to wait on that back. One, two, pull, two. You'll work on that motion. Abs matter. Feels good, feels good. I gotta take my time. Quality, quality, quality. Speed, but make sure the motion is right. Keep your chin down. Ah, I didn't pull. There we are. Okay, now you're gonna add the hook and then just follow through with the duck. Boom, 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 boom. Just follow through with the duck. Take your time and breathe. That's it, work it. I gotta work on bringing my right hand back. I started to drop it for a while. See, anybody can lose their technique. They don't pay attention. That's it. All right, now, next minute, add the lead hook at the end. Pop, pop. Boom, okay? Make sure it's in there. Knuckles, don't swat it. Knuckles. That's it. Recover. Give yourself more time. Use your body. So we got three more. Okay, next one is probably the most complicated. I'm gonna show you full view. You're gonna gazelle your way in. Boom, gazelle hop. So turn that body first. You can fake or whatever. Okay, four body, four head, doubling up. Boom, boom. Then we're gonna step back and throw the hook. Short step back. You've seen it before in some of my other workouts. 
So, gazelle doesn't have to be too big. Four, four, okay? Let's just do the gazelle hook for a bite, just that two for now. So you gotta start from out here. You can't reach. And we go. It's foot speed, not just hand speed. Hands and feet together. Now you don't jump from zero. You take a small step first. Small. That's some Hagler style. Oh, I gotta recover more. That one better. Okay, now when you get there, body, head, and same hand. That's it. Speed. Oh. Uh, I gotta rest. Okay, now here we go. Body hit, step out, finish with the hook. There's gonna be a little delay because you're moving your feet, don't worry about it. Short and quick. Use it to load up. Ah, I got a step. <laughs> I'm in a rush. Do as I say, not as I do. Still too much of a rush. There, that's the rhythm. One, two, three, four, five. Four is the step. Ah. Okay. Two more combos to go. Now it's almost becoming endurance. Speed endurance, power endurance. It's hard work. So just rest and recover. Next combo is fairly straightforward. And the last combo, one, two, one, two, one, two. We're just working pure base movement. Nothing tactical. Whew. You gotta give the muscles a rest. It's a lot of, a lot of work. Again, still, you gotta go easy on yourself. You're not used to speed. Take a, a day off from speed after this. Something that you do twice a week, not all the time. Okay, next combo. Right hand, right uppercut, like a stuff shot. Right hand, lead hook. Boom, 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 boom. Body, body. All right, body, body. So start here. Okay, just like that. It's like a stuff uppercut. Give the bag time. Give the bag time. Don't be in a rush. Look, I ain't gonna let it go one more. Cause I, if you let it go more, you just have more speed and power to work with. So it's all gonna add up. Don't worry about it, it's all gonna add up. Five. 
Find a nice spot on the back and work it. Okay, now we have the hook. All right, here we go. Whoa. The hook is getting weak. But at least keep it sharp. Do your best. Recover. One more we got. Remember to relax your hands in between. Boom, boom. In between combos, relax your hands. Here we go. Right up, right hook, body, body. Let the hands go. Let the body go. Do your best. Do your best. Breathing. Bend the knees. I feel this in my back leg. One more. Oh. All right. You made it this far. Championship round still. Even if it's not 12, 15, it's speed. Speed the whole way. So here's what we're gonna do. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's it. Just keep your hands up. You can punch like this, like this, short, far. We're just working motion, all right? Let your hands go relax. Let your hands relax, do loose. Okay, you made it, you made it. This last round is, it's fun. We're just gonna do it as a bonus. It's all gravy at this point. All right, ready, one, two, one, two. And relax. And relax, give yourself time, let it go. Let that back go. Maybe I let it even go a third time. It's okay, it doesn't matter, because then I just punch harder. Then I just go harder. You go harder. We still got a long way to go. Even though I just told you it's almost over. Bend the knees. Make sure not to come up. Bend the knees. Let the body, let the sink give you that punchy power. Oh, sweat's getting in the eyes. One, two, one, two, one. All right. Oh, it's hard to finish that left. Ooh, sweat in the eyes. Keep working, hang in there, guys. Ah, oh, 
Now it's catching up. I let the back go one more time. Six punches. Ooh, okay, I can't rest. I shouldn't have shown you that I'm gonna put my hands down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, still speed, still speed. Go for it. It's a lot in the legs. Bend the knees. Your whole body is set. Don't do this. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. pure speed let me tell you this is a real workout you're a competitor you're a fighter this is harder than most workouts you see competitors doing in the gym I'm not playing around because working speed hurts speed kills training speed kills you sweat my eyes gonna get it out but it's time for real anyways hit that like button for me I need that hit that I'm glad you're here because you do the whole thing. And that's all I wanted. You stay here, you do the whole thing. We're not faking it. We're not faking these workouts, it's not pretend. You want the benefit, put in the real work, and this is it. You don't even have to guess at what it is. This is just a speed day. Anyways, if you wanna learn boxing from the ground up, precisionstriking.com. If you like the gear I'm wearing, it's by BoxRaw. Link's down below. My other channel, precisionstriking.com. Technical boxing, all that kind of stuff. What else can I say? In the meantime, give your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Woo! <laughs>